Shalom Mishpaka and to the tribes of Yoshiro scattered abroad, I say Shalom to you. Um, I'll be discussing today about the Kratos true Albury pronunciation. But before I show it to you, please let us pray. Our Father in the Shamayim, I say may your name be kept Kodesh. Thank you for this opportunity that you've given to us once again to share from your words of fellowship, O oh, Elohim of Yasharal, I thank you for revealing your name and the pronunciation to us. What has been kept hidden for thousands or for centuries, you have revealed them to us this end time. May your name be esteemed, O oh, Elohim of Yasharal. I pray and ask that your Ruach HaKodesh interpret this message in a way that each and every person watching this video will understand. To the Yahuwah, to the Elohim of Yeshua, so be it. It is done. Um, today I will be just like I said, I will be discussing the Creator's true Abri pronunciation. And um, in times past, people have been, you know, coming up with different interpretations of this name, like with the current one which we're using is Yahuwah with W A H at the end, and Yahuwah with U-A-H at the end. And I want to let you know that um, all of these names are still in English. They are not the actual Albury translation and pronunciation of his name. And um, last week when <clears throat> my systems and everything was down, I cried out to um, our father in the Shamayim and I asked him, I told him because in my Ruach, I always felt that we are not getting the pronunciation right. And um, by his mercy and by his uh, favor and compassion, he revealed his name to me. And he told me, you don't speak his name, you breathe his name. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I was now wondering, so what does he mean by that? I remembered in the ancient text, when I was looking for his name years ago, that I what was actually written by the scribes was the ineffable name. When they refused to write his true Albury name, another scribe wrote it as the unpronounceable name. I didn't understand why they wrote, they gave such title to the name of our creator. But by the time he explained to me, by the time he told me his name, oh my word, then I now began to understand what. That's described means by the ineffable uh, name or the unpronounceable name. And um, I'm going to take you briefly to the name of this is what Yahuwah told me. He said, I should know that what we do today is backward. What they, we are doing, the ancients we are doing is forward. Give me examples. He said, for example, now in the English language, in the English, English way of writing, we write from the left to the right. But he said, the ancient Abre, they do the opposite. They write from the right to the left. Now also, he said, in speaking. Now, if you watch, when you're speaking and you put your hand here, you will see that breath is coming out. We lose our life force when speaking today, when we pronounce things. And that is why you cannot pronounce or speak the words in those ancient, in the ancient Abre. Because you see that you start adding an A to it or a Y to it to, so that you can be able to speak it out. But those words are not meant to be spoken out. They are meant to be breathed in and whispered. Shh. But that's how the ancients we are speaking in those days. So now I'm going to show you where I've written the name and the interpretation. Just like um, our creator showed me. And then I'm going to speak. I'm going to breathe his name. He told me this, that you breathe his name, you don't speak his name. The ancient Arabic people don't speak the way we are speaking now, losing life force. They breathe in, they make clicks, sound clicks, and they whisper. And this is what, this is normally, this is how they, they normally do their stuff. And then he also explained to me that that is why also they live so many years, 800 years, 700 years. Um, 600 years because their way of life their lifestyle both in communication in way of doing things 
it helps them to conserve their breath, their life force. Your life force is in the breath that you take. Now, when we speak, we reduce our life force. The current way we communicate and do things is aimed at decreasing your lifespan here on earth. This is what our Creator revealed to me. But let me take you to the to, the, to we have written the name, and then I will now come back to the pronunciation. The first video I did, which I've already deleted, I tried to show you the chat, but I saw that it was inverted. So I said I I said to do it separately so that you can see it clearly, and then I will do the interpret and what do they call it the pronunciation so you can see how his name is pronounced in the ancient every way now just like i said i'll be taking you on the creator's name i remove the s because it's not a mark of respect this is the way in english writes you write you're supposed to write the creator's name but you supposed to <clears throat> for for respect to, to our to the almighty it's supposed to be the creator name English language is actually, I don't know what to even call it, but it's, it's actually opposite of what our creator designed language to be. Now look at it here. This is what we all know, um, starting from here, which is wrongly translated as yod he wav he You see, that's in the current uh, Hebrew translation, which is wrong because this is the way this translation comes out. It's e E -u -e. that is the way to pronounce it the english way to pronounce it and it means his breath because this is a there is no y there is no h in the creator's name this is how the name is in the ancient abri as you can see the way i wrote it so now if i am going to pronounce it according to the way he showed me it's not going to be sounding e e u e it's going to sound more like, like breathing in you're going to breathe in the E. Now, just like this. I'm going to turn the camera and you're going to see me. But it's just like. <sighs> Something like that. But well, it's exactly like that. So now I'm just going to speak on everything here. And then I'm going to face the camera myself. And then I'm going to show you how it is spoken now you can see we have tried to write it in pictograph and you can see that the hand and the arm the man with arms raised the tenth peg and the the man with arms raised okay now you can see what here means he and then now secures breathing do you see it secures breathing so meaning he secures breathing that's the meaning of E -e -u -e, in English pronunciation but that's not the Abri pronunciation which I will show you later now let's go to the Mashiach's name <clears throat> as you can see the Mashiach's name it contains remember he said he came in his father's name and his name contains also the father's name so as you can see there's similarity here you can see the father's name is here and then you can see that the father's name is also here the only difference is from here as you can see and then now you can see how i wrote it here translated exactly the way it is and then you see that it's more of sounds making of sounds and that is why when it, if you want to call it in english that's when you say yahuwah you are adding the the current day alphabet so that you can pronounce it but that's not how to pronounce it in the ancient abri way so now if i should pronounce it this is how it's going to be in english pronunciation it's going to sound like this e E, U, E, Shu. You see it. E, E, U, E, Shu. Now look at it in pictograph. You can see the similarity. The first four is the same with this one, the father's name. As you can see, it's the same interpretation, except for here that is two fronted and here tenth peg and an eye okay let me just go slowly here is the hand here is the man with arm raised here is the tenth peg here is the man with arm raised two fronted tenth peg and eye now look at it you see the same interpretation here you say he secures breathing the same thing he secures breathing but now this one here is now 
I translated it with the help of the Ruach to save all salvation. Can you see? Now, if now I when I decided to translate it now to normal English, look at it now how it looks like. He said, His breath saves. Can you see that the pronunciation is actually in his the the, the yes the pronunciation the name actually bears the way it should be pronounced can you see it can you see so now i am going to do the pronunciation for you so that you just like see i've already it. shown you i couldn't do it simultaneously so that's why i decided to do them in bits and so that you can see clearly what i was demonstrating now i will start with the creator's name like i said that the way to speak his name is in the interpretation of his name so now let us go you see it remember it's e e u e in english pronunciation but now in the ancient abri way the way he taught them to speak his name is like this That is how to breathe his name. You actually breathe his name. And another interpretation for that his name is his breath. That is his breath. He's breathing his name on you. You are breathing in his name. Now for the Mashiach. Okay, let me do it one more time. You breathe it in. You don't breathe it out to make sounds the way we do our normal communication in the world today. You do it this way. I'm demonstrating it so that you can see me taking in the air. Otherwise, I'll just say it like this. That's the creator's name. Now for the Mashiach's name, where I've already shown you, now is the creator's name combined with the teeth and then the tent bag and the eye. Now we're going to do it, take it now. It's, it goes like this. Do you see? That's the same way to make, to um, speak or to breathe the Mashiach's name. If I say speak, we are not speaking it, we are actually breathing it in. And remember, his the Mashiach's name mean, means his breath saves. I will do it one more time. Shh. If you want to speak, our creator's name and his mash and our mashiach's name in the ancient abri way you breathe your name because his breath saves the way to speak their name is actually in in the interpretation of their name it was hidden in plain sight but no one knew including myself until Elohim of Yeshua revealed it to me but if you want to pronounce it in English it's Yahuwah, Yahusha. That's English. You're speaking out the name, but that's not the ancient Abri pronunciation. May our Elohim, Elohim of Yeshua, barak you and give you the ability to understand this and to accept his name and to breathe his name. Shalom.